Hey everyone, second video, and this is going to be about how to do the assignment for duck and cover school drills during the Cold War from Common Lit. So uh, let's just say we're starting Google Classrooms. So you'll be on the Google Classroom homepage. You'll click on Classwork. If you scroll down, the assignment that's directly above Academic Vocab Number Nine Quiz is Duck and Cover. You click on that. It's going to take you to Common Lit, and then. From there, it should have you sign in with your Google information. So I synced Google Classroom with Common Lit. So it should have you um, sign in using your Google account. And once you do that, you'll have access to the text. Um, you'll be able to annotate, make notes, highlight if you want. You can have it read it out loud to you. There's a read aloud button. Um, so for the text, um, it's pretty self-explanatory. It has a picture there. Um, the questions that go along with it. Let me pull up the questions really quick. So there's, um, the first one is a short answer. And it says, what is the author's main purpose in writing this article? Cite evidence from the text in your response. So remember that author's purpose that we have author's purpose pi so pi means is it to persuade is it to inform is it to entertain so think about this type of text and um, decide whether you believe it's to persuade inform or entertain all right second question has um, a part a here multiple choice and it says, um, which two of the following best identify the central themes of this article? So remember, theme is the, uh, the message or moral of the story that the author is trying to tell you. So this is asking for two. So make sure that you choose two answers or else it's going to be wrong. Okay, so once you choose your two answers, we'll move on to question three. Part B says, which two phrases from the text best support the answer to part A? So just like we were practicing before we got out of school, if you miss part A of a question, you're probably going to miss part B. So it's important that you get part A, which is asking you about the theme, the message of the story, and then part B asks you to choose two phrases from the text that best support your two answers that you chose to part A. All right, so if we move on to question four, it says, what does the word escalate most closely mean as is used in paragraph one? All right, so if you go back and you look at paragraph one, It says in the second sentence, although the Cold War never did escalate from tension to real violence between the two countries, people in the United States worried that the Soviets might attack with a nuclear bomb. So that's the sentence that it's from. So go back, use your context clues and decide whether it's A, to become more intense or serious, B, to develop slowly, C, to move forward rapidly, or D, to become angry. All right, so if you look at question five, it says, which phrase from the text best supports the answer to part A? All right, so part A just asks you what the word escalate means. So once again, here we have another question where if you don't get the first part right, you're probably not gonna get the second part right. So make sure you're paying attention using your context clues. So we have A, very tense relationship, B, tension from, sorry, B, from tension to real violence, C, worried that the Soviets might attack, or D, performed emergency drills. All right, if you go to question six, it says, which statement best describes how the duck and cover drills are described in the text? All right, so that is the first six questions. Um, then there's also a discussion portion to this assignment, okay? So 
once you are done with those questions, you will click over to um, discussion. And the first one, the first discussion question says, why do you think the United States government used a cartoon turtle named Bert to convey the importance of being prepared for attack? Okay. All right, the second one says, as you now know from reading the article, the Cold War did not result in any nuclear attacks. In your opinion, was it worthwhile to teach children how to duck and cover? Was this too extreme, causing unnecessary fear? Explain. So that is an opinion-based question, so it's not necessarily going to be right or wrong because it's based on your opinion. However, you are going to need to explain your answer, use textual evidence, um, and make sure it makes sense. All right, number three. How do you feel about preparedness efforts in your own life? Do you think it is important to have a plan in the event of attack or natural disaster, no matter how unlikely such an event may be? All right, so again, that's more of an opinion-based question. It is, like I said, going to have to need to make sense for you to get full credit. Make sure you're using full sentences. Um, we're not um, going to need to be typing like we talk. We need to type out a full, complete sentence answer. All right, number four says, as noted in the text, some people believe that the duck and cover school drills did more harm than good by making people fearful and nervous. In the context of this article, how does fear drive action? Were the drills justified? Cite evidence from this text, your own experience, and other literature, art, or history in your own answer. All right, number five, the article describes the tension and fear associated with a specific time in history. In the context of this text, how has America changed over time? Do American schools still work hard to teach students safety? Cite evidence from this text, your own experience, and other literature, art, or history in your answer. So if you're having a hard time, um, you shouldn't have a hard time citing from the text because the text is right there for you. Um, as far as it talking about citing from your own experience, think about what we're going through right now. So we're in the middle of a virus um, that is causing a national, not just a national, a worldwide crisis. So think about the safety measures that we've gone through with this and use that as your personal information. So it's very relevant to what we're talking about right now. All right, so number six, the last one, in the context of this article, how does the possibility of war change people's lives? Cite evidence from this text, your own experience, and other literature, art, or history in your answer. All right, so that is the end of the discussion questions for that one. Um, if you have any questions about this text, about um, how to complete the activities in Common Lit, please let me know. Um, you will receive a grade from Common Lit on this. Um, and if you need the text to be read aloud to you, it does have the read aloud feature. You'll just need to make sure your speakers are on and your volume is up and it will read it aloud to you. All right, if you have any questions, please let me know.